Hey everyone, I'm here with Antoine Pruno. How's it going, Antoine? Very good, you? Good, thank you for joining us. We're gonna open some 2020 Opera Deck CFL. Are you ready? I'm absolutely ready. Well, you got some cards in here too, so let's hope we uh, open some of your cards in here. So, all right, let's see what uh, pack one gives us. Okay, let's see. I'm super excited because I don't know if we're gonna have Christmas this year, so this might be the only opening that I get to do. <laughs> Oh, we start strong, see? Abdul Kane right here. Former Red Blacks, back with the Red Blacks again. Won a great cup with the guy. And let's see for our number card. Ooh. I got the, also got a signed one from oh, nice. uh, Mr. Illuminian, the president of the PA. That's the first pack mojo right off the bat. Nicely done. Yeah, good. got a good one. And I don't think I have a number card. So that, number, so that auto, auto would have replaced the number card. That's why. Oh, uh, there you go. That's, that's your hit for pack. There you go. Nicely done. Hey, we start strong. So pack number two. That. Pack number two. Oh, look what I'm seeing at the back, at the back of this one. Oh, and I think that's right your there. big pack right there. There we go. Monsieur Pruneau. You didn't waste any time. Yeah, we got JR at the front, JR Tavai, former Red Blacks. Oh, uh, who we got? The number card. We got Sean McQueen, snapper. There we go. Play for Calgary now. Used to play for Toronto. Let's go to the third one. So, Antoine, you won a great cup in 2016. How was that winning the, your first cup? That was unreal, uh, especially, like, you know, coming back from 2015, a tough loss against Edmonton and Winnipeg. Uh, it was still a special moment to get there for the first time, but win winning it is a whole other thing and uh, definitely had some good time during that game and afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I see a lot of red blacks in that pack. We got Alex Matias, Richie Leone, and we have a number card here. No number, oh, uh, no number card. Oh, but we do have Bull Levi Mitchell. Nice, pretty good quarterback, tough to play against. I don't like him, but I appreciate him as a player. <laughs> <laughs> he's just tough to play against. I'm sure he's a good guy, don't know him very much. <laughs> um, oh, wow, this one we got Gerald Fernandez to start with, rookie with the Red Blacks last year, did an awesome job at middle linebacker. And do we have a number card in this pack? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, Suk Chang. Nice. Super good O-line. Uh, I remember watching this uh, guy tape when he j first joined the league. I think he went at the uh, University of Calgary. And uh, he was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that definitely carried on for his years in the CFL. Very good player. <laughs> um, Just open one more. We got Enoch Mwamba to start the pack. And, oh, we got a special card here with a game a jersey. jersey on it. Nice. Got, yeah, Brandon Banks. Hey, Brandon, Brandon, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Nicely done. Yeah, he's so fast. He's not really fun to play against on punt. Gotta <laughs> say that. <laughs> you always got to prepare when you face Banks. And this is it for this bat. You're doing really well in this box so far. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, la la. One more. Beardy. Uh, who we got? Okay. We got another number card here. Jake Thomas, D line, number 95. See, uh, I don't know the defensive guys as well because I don't get to play against them very much. There we go. So uh, after you won the Great Cup, what did you guys uh, end up doing with the Great Cup? Did you go out and... Uh, you know, with the classic, we carried it around the city, of course. But then I remember going to Mont Tremblant with uh, Henry Burness really took us there. He rented a couple spots out there for us to sleep there. And uh, we had a good party. Let's just uh, keep it at that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, lots of fun. And uh, it was it was actually pretty funny to see how people, you know, it's back in Quebec and you would not think that they would be fans of the Ottawa Red Blacks there, but uh, 
I don't know if they even knew what the Grey Cup was, but a lot of people was uh, cheering for us when we carried it around. So we had a good time. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, there you go. This was not number, but we Simone Lawrence. I gotta put it out there still, you know. <laughs> he's known for his trash talking, but he's actually a pretty good player. And we got Teron Vaughn, the number card on this pack. Nice. So did you collect when you were younger? Oh, yes, I did. I got to say, mostly uh, NHL cards. They were more popular, I guess. I I'm, I'm, was born in Montreal, so that's uh, hockey was a big thing. And uh, we were playing that game with the cards where we, you got to throw them towards the wall and the closest card uh, towards the wall, everybody just got to give their card if it's not the closest and you pick those up. And I had this, this card from Matt Sundin, which is, was a little bit heavier, <laughs> and it was always sticking to the wall. And I uh, actually remember losing that car one day and I came back home to my mom crying. So <laughs> tough, tough loss. Tough loss, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got here. A couple DBs and the number card we got. Oh, I don't know if I can pronounce this one well. I'll just, oh, you lose me for a second. There you go. I got you back. <laughs> Saxfield. Sax, sax elite? <laughs> what? I think you got it right. I think you got it right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put those away. Actually, I didn't put the numbers card away, so we can edit that part anyway, huh? Put the big hits aside, yeah. Mm, yeah. So at the end, I can do a close-up of all the... These are pretty cool with the um, game jersey on. Yeah, they're uh, really nice cards. You can put the jerseys on them. You're hitting quite a bit of your own players, too. Uh, sorry, quite a bit of your own team, too. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I can put those aside as well. Too late. I don't want to go through the pack again. <laughs> I'll start putting them aside from now on. <laughs> right. And... Um, Oh, I'm going to give a shout out too to uh, Collins. He's got, uh, he's our video coordinator and I got to say he's got the best collection. He's got all these cards from the Red Blacks. Oh, yeah. All the special ones. Uh, he's a big, he's collecting a bunch of stuff, but I think this is one of his favorite stuff to collect. That's awesome. All right. Okay, I'm opening another one. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, William Langlais, francophone de Sherbrooke. On n'oublie pas nos amis francophones. Very good fullback. Don't talk enough about football, fullback in our league. Uh, oh, I got another signed car. Oh, nice. From, I think, no, he didn't retire. Did he retire? No. Did René retire? I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure I can sure look it up. Well, I hope he did because he's a very good kicker and he's not playing for my team. <laughs> <laughs> and his, his card's going to have more value if he retired. <laughs> well, we also got a defensive MVP in there, Willie Jefferson. Well, let's keep going. So how is it seeing uh, yourself on the trading card? And I was, especially that first year for my rookie card, I think it was the most exciting one. Uh, as I said, I collected cars before, so it felt really special. I don't know if it topped off when I saw that they did Lego of me, and then oh, I was that was like, I think that was a little bit better than the card, but still, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was amazing. And cars are easier to collect, and definitely, there's always kids showing up that you want us to sign them. And uh, I think that's one cool thing that we do at the Red Black Stadium we always allow the, the crowd on the field after the game. And definitely the card is part of a good interaction with the fans. Uh, when we get to sign those, it's pretty exciting to see that, you know, people care and they care that you're playing for their home team. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, we don't have a number card in this one, but we do have uh, the 2015 semifinal miracle player, Greg Linkson with the miracle catch at the end of nice. the game to take us to our first Grey Cup game. 
unfortunately he's not with uh, the Red Blacks anymore. And uh, here we go. Oof, good player. Canadian Nick Dembski. And uh, yeah, he did run a pretty good route against me this year, scored a touchdown. <laughs> I'm still pissed off about that one. I thought about it almost all year. I know they say that good DBs get have short memories, but uh, I'm not going to forget this one too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to play against him again next year. Um, what we got here? Patrick Levels, another very good DB, very versatile. Still a young player in our league. I can't wait to see what he's going to do at the in the upcoming years. So did you have a favorite player uh, growing up, whether it be hockey or football? Or, uh, oh, you know, yeah. Did you have certain players that you really liked? Yeah, absolutely. I'd say football, uh, Canadian football, Mike Pringle was definitely at uh, the top of the list. I was playing running back at the time when I first started playing football. So uh, just watch, watching him every weekend, uh, whether it was at the stadium or uh, just on television with my father. So... Yeah, he's someone that uh, I really enjoy watching, uh, watching play. And um, Emmett Smith in the NFL. So um, I was playing for the Laval Cowboys, and <laughs> we're, I was wearing number 22 playing running back, so I had to uh, love Emmett Smith. Uh, Hockey-wise, uh, not the best player, but he was the captain for Montreal Canadian, uh, Saku Kaibu. He's a good player. So, yeah, he's, yeah, he's really a good, good player. player. He played for a long time, and... You know, had some illness too, fought through those. I think he had cancer and got back playing. So, pretty good player. Here's, I didn't even watch. Oh, I'm on T. Edwards. Very good receiver, tons of speed. And uh, he's playing for Edmonton now. Put him here. Well, you hit a lot of the Ottawa Red Blacks. I've seen quite a few of those cards coming out. Your, yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, we got John Crockett here. Super good running back. Joined the team last year. Uh, very excited to see what he's going to do for us next year. And um, who else we got with the Red Blacks? No. no number card in this pack, but we do have Adam Begill. I think he's one of the best defensive players in our league. Very consistent over the year. Made a little trip to the NFL as well. Oh, another Red Blacks player, Alex Fontana. Nice. Yeah, very good O-line. First round pick, if I remember correctly. Oh, and another O-line, and he's our number card for this one, Nolit McMillan. Recently became a father this year. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll see if that affects him <laughs> for next year. <laughs> You might be we a little bit got, tired. <laughs> yeah. We both got a kid this year. So, um, oh, congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, we got a, another Red Blacks, Don Lunamba. Just joined the team this year. Got a lot of newcomers with the Ottawa Red Blacks for 2021. Randall Evans, been a Red Black since the beginning. He's done pretty good over the years for us. And our number card is defensive line, Mike Rose. Nice. Yeah, here we go. Let's see who else we got in here. Oh, oh no, I thought it was somebody else. <laughs> um, is that, oh, that was the last, that was the last pack. Yeah, it was. You're so focused. <laughs> you didn't know. Absolutely. Yeah, I thought this was uh, – this is Jordan Uber, but I thought it was the uh, other Jordan, which is currently doing a TV show and uh, back in Quebec. Beaulieu, Jordan Beaulieu. <laughs> well, thank Which you very much, I really appreciate you uh, joining me and opening these, uh, these packs with me. And uh, I wish you the best of luck next year. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.